John Bennett here with Logic Pro X, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beat, a kick, a beat and kick build up um, just from scratch so that you can put in your remixes and really kind of make a build up kind of effect um, going on. So, I've got a project here I'm working on, and I'm just going to open up my Loops browser and I'm going to go to Beats, and I've got a couple beats that are my favorites here so I just click my favorites and I'm gonna pick one of these beats let's go with that one and I'm actually just so you can kind of hear what I'm doing here the song that I'm building up to the end of this remix. Okay, so it's really lacking that that kicking beat underneath it to really build it up. So I'm gonna hit O to get rid of my loops browser. And um, let's solo this this beat here. Okay, good. What I like about it is got a nice strong kick on on the one downbeat on the one. So what I'm going to do is basically just go in and start messing around with this. This thing pretty much re repeats. So I'm going. I don't really care about having just a straight beat. So I'm just going to chop it here with command T and just get rid of this and this is where the creativity comes in of you actually chopping this beat up and doing something more creative with it so normally I have my marquee tool as the secondary but you can go and do the cut the scissors tool and this is a neat little trick is option command and then I'm going to cut, if I cut it here, it's going to cut everything by the beat. So I've got it all chopped up here. So I may just <clears throat> get back to my marquee tool. I made all I really want to play with is the, is the kick. So I, I get the kick here, hit option, and then drag it to make a copy of it. And then I'm going to start building it. So hit, hit, hit. You can see how quickly this kind of develops. And then uh, I'll keep I'll let I'll take that all the way out for this whole eight count. And then starting here, I'm gonna build it build it even more. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna pull it back. You could pull it back to here. I like to leave a little gap. So now we're now we're hitting on the and counts, one in, one in, two in. This is just really just a straight up build. So, and then that's that eight count, and then for the final eight count, do it even more. Now, if you have them all selected, you can zoom in. You can take this, just drag one of them back a little past the marker and then option slide it out so now what you have is something like this cool so that's really very very basic let's listen to what it sounds like with the with the remix so I still got an eight count to go here. So I'm actually <clears throat> going to take this one and slide it over. So here. And this can get the way it's going right now. 
going to sound a little monotonous. We're going to actually like mix it up a little bit here. Um, so for this eight count here, let's go ahead and mix things up a bit. And I'm, what I'm looking at is the this eight count. When I say eight count, <clears throat> it's starting on 33 and then on 35. I'm going to pull this back. So now for this eight count. And I'm going to just do that again to give it some variation. So and then I'm going to come back in. And this, this is the final eight count and really build it up a little more. And it kind of ends with this long kick roll here. You can even go even one more level deep with it if you really want it to roll up. So another tip <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna go in on this last little bit here and go a little deeper but to do that I have to change this I always leave mine on the 16 the division grid but as you see here I zoom in it doesn't give me another grid and I need that grid so I'm gonna go to 32 just temporarily while I'm doing this part. And what I'm doing here just going to do like four of these guys. Come in and now have my grid on the 32 slide it over option click to drag it out to the grid mark. Now it's just like this like machine gun like really big build up so let's put it with the mix see what it sounds like yeah there you go that is creating a basic kick or beat build in logic pro x